Welcome back to our channel, fellow beekeepers. People are just interested in bees. Are you interested in helping your hive thrive through the summer dearth as nectar becomes scarce, pollen becomes um, somewhat scarce, and we try to help you with tips and tricks along the way? Well, stick around as we go through our ultimate survival guide in this summer. So stick around. Uh, you won't want to miss this as we help you through the summer times. Summer is a critical time for our bees. It's when they're the most active. The population is the highest coming out of the nectar flow because she just laid the most. And it's when nectar and pollen are becoming scarce. So this is the time where us as beekeepers have to recognize these things and the population will be declining because she'll be laying less. But why is summer so important? As our bees gather in front of the hive, washboarding, mm -hmm. due to the hot summer days causing a lack of nectar and pollen, it is important to understand the nutritional needs of these bees during the hot mm -hmm. summer dearth. Mm -hmm. With this, we'll help you identify certain aspects of a hive. But first, let's dive into the actual nutritional needs. A bee's development is heavily influenced by its diet. They eat a mixture of nectar or carbohydrates, as you can see in the corner here, and protein or pollen, as you see by these yellow specks. In the summer, when flowers are abundant, bees can usually find enough food. But as a beekeeper, it's important to monitor their food intake. If bees don't get enough nutrition, they can't properly develop. And a good sign of nutrition is the puddles at the bottom of the cells, as they'll have enough nutrition to eat as the days to come. If bees don't get this proper nutrition, it can lead to weaker bees and a less productive hive. A good sign of good nutrition is stored pollen inside or in between the cells, as you can see here or uh, abundance stored on the outside, as you can see the extra pollen stored on the outside. The consequences of nutrition deficit hive can be severe. Protein deficit can lead to underdeveloped bees, as there's no protein band on the outside here, and a lack of nectar can cause a shortage of honey, which they will then cut back on if they don't have enough honey or ne open nectar. This lack of nutrition can lead to a weaker hive that's susceptible to pests and diseases, Worst case scenario, a hive can even collapse if they're not getting enough nutrition as they have just a small enough puddle at the bottom to feed on, which can't last but more than a couple days. With a poor brood development or the lack of nutrition, this can lead to shorter lifespan of the bees or may even lead to the weaker bees consuming these since they will not survive to adulthood. The consequences of nutritional deficit where bees don't have enough protein, which is right here in these cells, or nectar or carbohydrates, which is in these cells, can be severe. So protein deficit can lead to underdeveloped bees, while lacking nectar can cause shortage of honey. Sometimes out of the main nectar flow, the bees will actually reconsume the eggs the queen lays, which um, stops the brood pattern. So you can see where she lays a regular pattern and where they've, they've consumed the eggs on the outside. With the lack of resources, they do not have enough resources to develop the bees, so they will actually consume the eggs she lays because they cannot develop these bees into adults. Often with this, the bees can think or be led up to think that the queen is not doing her job. So once they eat these up, there's no young brood, they will then create queen cells thinking she's not doing her job, which then they want to replace her, which is not the fault of the queen. It's just the lack of nutrition coming in. All right, so some of the issues we talked about, such as nutrient deficient, can be solved by you, the beekeeper, such as pollen patties. So with these pollen patties we got from Ultra Bee here, you can see that this hive we showed you is nutrient deficit and protein. So we'll simply just add this over the brood chain or the brood area for them. Now, besides pollen patties, another important thing is carbohydrates. So that's the sugar syrup we talked about. Um, it's important to feed them, you know, one to one, half a gallon or a gallon at a time but don't give them too much because it is the summer times, it will attract robbing. So for a small colony like this, for three frames, usually frames of honey are perfect and it won't attract other, other uh, hives. If you put sugar syrup on them, it can attract robbers. So again, don't put too much pollen patty on them because of hive beetles, don't put too much sugar syrup in them because of robbing. Um, another important thing is that can help is a clean water source. So if you put a small pool, if you don't have a pond in the area, or if you have a pond, don't worry about it because that's plenty, that's plenty of water in the area. So again, supplemental feeding, clean water source, shade if possible. And then other than that, those are the biggest things in the summer to help your bees thrive. So there you have it, the ultimate survival guide to summer beekeeping. Now remember, if supplemental feeding is needed, please do so. 
and if, if you need to, check and find the problem earlier than later. It always helps. So now remember to like, share, give us to your friends because this is summer beekeeping. They will need this too. And subscribe as you continue to follow us with tips and tricks along the way. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you.